hey everybody, my name is Nate. I'm on the team here at North Coast, and today we are in Psalm 98 and 99. And uh, when I read the psalm, it reminds me of an experience I had when I was a kid, and it was my very first concert I ever went to. And um, my first concert was uh, Blink-182. Some of you might remember that band. And I remember, you know, I knew this band, I knew their music, I'd listened to their CDs, it was rolling around in my head. But when I went to see them live, I mean, it was a completely different experience. Uh, as they started playing, there was this thing called this mosh pit that broke out and people were dancing wildly. And I was like, this is crazy. I will never do that. And then, of course, uh, by the end of the evening, uh, by the end of the concert, I was in the mosh pit dancing and going wild. And I remember leaving that first concert going like, oh, my gosh, this was one of the most life-giving, experiential filling experiences of my life. I mean, the music wasn't just lyrics in my head. Like I really felt it and it filled me up. And those of you, you know, you remember that first concert and it's, it's just incredible. And so that's what the Psalms are about. It's about moving uh, this information, this thinking about God, this theology we have about God and moving it into our bodies, into our hearts, experiencing God, feeling God, and that's uh, what the psalmists are doing. Uh, so in Psalm 98, let me, let me read a few of the things uh, that, that uh, it focuses on. And the prim one of the primary themes that emerges is God's holiness. And so this is what we, we see. Uh, Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. Let them sing praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Uh, so what does this word holy mean? Uh, typically we think of holiness, we think of purity. God is without sin, and that is true. That is what holiness means. Uh, but it's, it's more than that. And the Hebrew word for holy is kadosh, and it means to be set apart for a specific purpose. Uh, God is due you unique, distinct, separate, otherly. And uh, so based on this definition, um, you know, at your house, your your coffee pot is holy. It's, it's distinct. It's separate. You don't make tea with it. You don't make juice with it. Or I mean, it's for coffee. It's a holy coffee pot. Uh, but of course, that doesn't take in the divine nature. Our household items aren't d divine. Um, but they are set apart for a unique purpose. So when we think about we think about God and in this word holiness, uh, it's that He is yes pure and holy, uh, but He is Creator. Uh, he's created our bodies. He's created our world. Uh, he's our Redeemer. He's our Healer. He's our Savior. All these things that um, are separate from us, things we can't do for ourselves, and that's what makes God holy. And so we, we can understand holiness in our minds. Uh, we can reflect on God's holiness. But the goal of the Psalms is to help move that our understanding of God into our hearts and into our bodies. And so the encouragement for us today and this week is to not just think about God, uh, but to experience God. And maybe that's through singing, through singing his praises. Maybe it's through prayer. Maybe it's through taking three or five minutes and just being silent and quiet and connecting and experiencing God. He's in us. He's all around us. And um, encouragement to just connect with him in your heart and in your body this week. Uh, let's not just listen to the music. Let's jump in the mosh pit and experience the music. Uh, let's not just think about God. Let's experience God in our hearts. Let's pray together. God, we just thank you uh, that you are holy. Uh, we can't fully wrap our heads around what that means, uh, but we know that you are distinct, you are other, and because of that, we worship you and we praise you. God, help us to not just think about who you are, but feel and connect with who you are in our hearts, in our bodies, and in our spirit. Um, God, that's when we really start to transform, and that's where that relationship with you begins is, is when we connect with you on an emotional level. And so help us to set aside time this week uh, through prayer, through quiet time, uh, to really feel 
your presence in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.